We're covering Colorado's weather tonight, taking a live look right now from our mountain cam. All that traffic heading from the mountains back to the city for the work week ahead. Mm -hmm. Here's meteorologist Dave Aguilera with Colorado's forecast. Dave? It's been a pretty nice week, uh, a weekend up there. Uh, temperatures in the 70s, a few showers here and there, but not bad in the mountains. Meantime, around here, we're looking at our cameras and we're seeing a little uh, shower way out in the distance. Southern Jefferson County uh, is this uh, little storm here right now moving through the Buffalo Creek area, but you can see already some wind bouncing the camera around. We've had some gusty winds with some thunderstorms. I'm going to show you the big picture first and then We'll, we'll come in close and see what's happening. There's a huge line of severe thunderstorms going on right along here from the Dakotas back through Wyoming and Utah. That's a cold front there that's not moving very quickly. And the reason there's a big, huge, high pressure ridge right here kind of holding everything up. But tomorrow afternoon into Tuesday, this front will be moving through, and eventually it will bring us a change. Ahead of it, though, we've got a good southwesterly wind, a little moisture coming in for thunderstorms. That'll be intact tomorrow, too, for more heat around here. So another hot day before the bigger change coming. Now, we do have some thunderstorms on the map here, a handful now, a lot fewer than the last couple of days. Let's take it full, and we'll show you where uh, the biggest storms are. Yeah, they're kind of scattered around the area, but really uh, not a lot of rain coming out of these. Just gusty wind producers you could see there pushing right across the front range. The one that we showed you on the camera with the mousetrap looking south is this one from Bailey over Buffalo Creek. This will be moving into the south metro area, but what has been happening is these storms are losing some of their moisture when they run into the heat and uh, dryness here, and they're creating quite a bit in the way of gusty wind. So they're high base gusty thunderstorms we're seeing around here. One of those moved north of Golden, now moving through Broomfield, very windy up there right now, and another one uh, up there in uh, northern Wells. County. This one just dumped on parts of Boulder and Longmont with a quick dose of rain. Uh, Longmont and Loveland, I should say, as that one uh, moved through, and there was a, a bunch of wind with that one as well. Uh, at the moment, that's kind of weakening over Weld County, and another one coming together now south of Akron. That one. Uh, Again, will probably produce some gusty winds. Now, let's uh, talk about this front that will be coming through. Behind it, a cool trough of air that'll initially tomorrow kind of just dig over Nevada. That's going to give us a good southwesterly flow, so it's going to be hot and windy up through eastern Colorado tomorrow. Then it digs into the state and then back up into the northern Rockies here. When that happens on Tuesday, that's going to cool our temperatures. It might also bring in a few severe thunderstorms in the afternoon. So the outlook for Tuesday now. We got one more day is we could see some more severe thunderstorms for Denver into northeastern Colorado. Today, hot before all the clouds moved in, 93 here and 93 at the airport and out there right now, it's 85 degrees. So tonight, the storms will be moving on out of here. We'll be mostly clear to start the day tomorrow. And then the afternoon and evening, we'll have a few more isolated thunderstorms coming through again. And in the last few frames, you could see that front moving into western Colorado there big time with the rain at 9 o'clock tomorrow night. So here's the forecast tonight. Mostly cloudy with showers and thunderstorms. High tomorrow, 95 degrees at the airport, 97 downtown. Hot and breezy. The record is 102. Doesn't look like we'll hit that, but the big cool down coming on Tuesday with 80 degrees, Kathy, and a few thunderstorms in the afternoon. So uh, one more day of this uh, 90 degree heat, and we've got a little reprieve coming our way to welcome in July. 15 degree drop. Yeah. I'll take it. Big time. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. You well, the primary election is two days away, and so far, more than